In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this really cool design of the pyramids in a circular shape in Canva with the multiple layers of the birds, the clouds, the pyramids and the sand, all made with the elements that we can find in Canva. It's something that can really grab the attention of the audience when you're making the design. And we're starting from a blank canvas. Now first we want to change the background color to something warmer. So we select the background, go to color, and here we want a beige tint. So go to the color wheel, somewhere in between orange and yellow, and we're going to drag it towards the beige tint. I'm going, I'm going for the color code E8D2AC. Next we want to go to the elements tab, and here look for frame. We want to click on frames see all, and then select the circle. Put it on the slide, and we'll hold Option Shift or Control Shift to create a copy. Now we want to look for the images, look for pyramids, and click photos see all. There's a whole bunch of images that you can choose from. I'm going to go for one of the warmer colors, so I'm going to choose this one. Drag it on the canvas and hover over the image so it snaps into the frame. We want to select the image and click on background remover. If you want to scale it differently, you can double click the image and increase or decrease the size of the pyramids. I'm going to keep it as it was, but just shift it slightly to the left. Next, we want to look for a dune or some sand. So we're going to type in dune and photos see all. Also here, I'm going to choose one of the images that I like, so I can click on this one. And then it will also give you a magic recommendation. So if you like the image or the style of the image, but not entirely convinced, you can click on magic recommendations and see all. And this will show you some variations of that image. And here you can select any image that you like. Hold the image and drag it on top of the selection. And now we're going to click the image and background remover. Now you can see it takes up quite of the image if we overlay it. So it kind of hides the pyramids and we don't want that. So there's a few things we can do. You can either double click the image and readjust the selection. So you have to make it larger and then scale it down. If you see this circle here, the top of the image, you can't drag it down. So it always has to snap to the top. So you can either enlarge the image just like this and then scale it down. But then your content becomes smaller. There's also an alternative that you could do. Let's escape for now, add the image to the screen again. And for example, here we click the image, edit image, and then we go to Magic Studio and we click on expand. We can increase it in size so you can zoom out and maybe let's give it some extra headroom. Magic expand and let's see what it comes up with. And here we have a few selections with some sky. And I think that will do if we click done. Now we reduce the size of the image, click on background remover, and now it will remove a larger part of that image. So it will remove the entire sky, but our image will remain larger. So if we now hover it over the circle and put it in, oh, you have to do it first. There we go. Background remover. And now we can add it on top of the pyramids. If you now click it, you can increase it in size as much as you want, and you get more detail on the image itself. And this is the result that we want. Now we can see there's a color difference between the two. So what we can do is select the image, go to edit, adjust, and here we can play around with some of these settings. For example, the temperature or the tint. We can already drag it towards that more darker, warmer tone. Or we can go down, increase the saturation a bit, the vibrance and saturation, and then just see until you find a result that matches the other image. So you take one of the two as a reference, in this case the pyramids, and we're trying to adjust the bottom one so it nicely matches with that one. I think if we nudge the tint more towards the purple side, that will give us a nice view. There we go. This already gives us two nice layers. Now we want to add some text. So go to text, title, and here let's type in pyramids. We're going to drag the text on top of the circle and make it slightly larger than the circle itself. So maybe the two outer letters, the P and the S, they fall out of the circle. We're going to make it white, text color, and make it white. Position, layers, and we drag it in between the two layers. And then we adjust it so that it nicely matches the image. So we don't see the, too much of the bottom of the image, but it's still visible. Now, if it becomes hard to read, you can always select the image, go to effects and add a little bit of a lift. 
and this puts some shadow behind the text and makes it easier to read. You can reduce the intensity if it's too much or increase it if you need more. I don't like this sharp border here, so I'm going to drag it slightly upwards so that it's nicely matching with that border. Select everything and let's place it nicely in the middle. Now we want to add some more 3D effects, so we go into Elements and here look for Shadow. Go to Graphics and we want this circular shadow somewhat in the oval size but slightly tilted. So if we put this one, we make it a bit smaller and we drag it below the pyramids or at the bottom and we then position and drag this underneath all of the elements. It will give that illusion that it's a 3D floating design that we're making. So it makes the design lift off the page. If the shadow is too harsh, you can always go to transparency and reduce it to almost zero or somewhere halfway. So depending on the style that you want, you can play around with it. I'm going to put it on around 75. Now let's add some more elements to finish this one off. So go to elements and here we type in clouds, go to photos. And now we want to add some nice clouds, realistic clouds, because the images are realistic as well. And we sort of want to put them on the image. You don't release it on the frame itself, but you want to release it somewhere near the frame. So always drag it from the side. And as soon as you hover over the frame, it will snap. So we don't want that. Make the clouds a bit smaller, just like this. And then maybe play around with the positioning that we put it behind the words. Hold option or control to create a copy. And let's flip this one horizontally, make it a bit smaller so that it doesn't look like the same cloud. If you want, you can always select a different, a different cloud here. Photos, maybe a different shaped cloud if you don't want the same effect. That is also possible so that it looks more realistic. And position, let's drag that one underneath as well, underneath the text. Now, so a few extra things that we can do is we can add some birds, photos, and choose this selection of birds. Of course, the background, we don't want it, so we go for background remover. Let's make it a bit smaller, the selection or the crop marks, and then scale it down, and then have them fly in either from the, this side here towards the left. So we can make it, I'm going to increase it just a bit position and then drag it underneath the clouds so that there's somewhere in between that always looks good and if the birds are too hard you can always go to edit adjust and then reduce either the brightness and either increase the brightness a bit or turn the shadows and the blacks down so that way they're becoming more natural and not that very dark so you want to just do it a little bit not too much Play around with the settings. There we go. And let's preview what we have already. And this is how you can create this really cool 3D effect of the pyramids in a circular shape. It's a really nice design element that you can add to your creative work. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you want to learn more about Canva, make sure to drop a follow and watch the video on the screen right now.